Hey, by Thomas here. The only complaint that I've ever had on this tractor, well, there's been two little things, but this is this is one that has happened now three times. This is this plate right here. Hope you can see that. That plate right there goes onto your hydraulic controls right here. Well, this portion right here, as you see, eh, that sun's not in the best of light. There we go. This portion right here. As you can see, gets loose, and the only way to tighten it is on the back side here. Well, not today, folks. Not today. So we're gonna go ahead and add this Loctite on there. I was gonna get the uh, red stuff, and I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do the blue. So we'll see. See how this works. Also, if you notice in the distance, a lot of white stuff out here. <laughs> Lots of white stuff, and that's all good. I even got a lot of uh, ice hang icicles hanging off the roof here. But uh, yeah, today, right now I think it's 23 degrees. This morning is about 16 degrees. But um, yeah. So first things first I'm gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and, I hope I don't drop into the dirt. We'll go ahead and add some, uh, some Loctite to that right there. Not, not anymore. We're gonna make this thing quit acting, quit acting up on me. There's not a lot of threads there for engagement too, but that's the only thing that really has driven me crazy. It's, this is the third time, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Uh, no more. I will go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'll get this taken care of. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead over here to the sawmill. And we're going to go ahead and cut up that maple log that's on there. You know, winter is setting in. We get a lot of cold weather and everything. I need some more stock material and stuff for charcuterie boards, so we're working on that. And then below here, this is an oak log that I cut off uh, somewhere here on the back side of our property. It's 14, well, it's just over 14 foot long. I need 14 foot material so that we can start working on the lean-to. So the other day when I went down to Fond du Lac, Mississippi, or excuse me, ah, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, wrong state. Um, I bought a lot of metal, which unfortunately, <laughs> it's all underneath the snow here. I can see the, the ribs and everything. I got another 20 sheets, I think, there that are underneath there. But we're going to go ahead and add a lean-to off the side of the building here. And then that will make uh, a nice covered area to store wood to put my truck. And then during the summertime, I'll be able to even put my trailer underneath there. Because it's going to be the length of this building. So, again, I don't have a lot of long material. I've got a lot of oak logs, but not a lot of long ones. So, just scouring through the property, I found this one, and then I have another tree that's down, but unfortunately, based on the ice and everything, I can't quite get to it yet. But here soon I will. Once the ground freezes up just a bit more, I'll pull out a few more uh, trees there. So, without further ado, let me go and fix this uh, front end load on the tractor. We'll go ahead and cut up this log, so stay tuned. Okay, so we've got the tractor fixed, and then on the, the uh, sawmill here, uh, swat, swapped out the water tank, and we put some diesel in there. We got a slow drip. The only thing I see thus far that could be an issue, because it's based on how cold it is, is my guide. Rollers aren't really spinning, but I think as we get pressure on there, start going with this log, they'll start warming up. So something I'm gonna watch to make sure we don't have a, uh, uh, a bear spot on the bearing or everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make a few cuts, see what this looks like.
did catch up as the cup went on but uh yeah the first board that i cut uh wherever i put it was a uh, over there it was an inch and a half this next board here this is one inch because i also need a few pieces to make some spoons and stuff out of and if i do a matching set i figured you know what that'd be a good idea and the rest of these are an inch and three eighths and that gives me enough it's just under an inch and a half so it gives me enough to work with and everything um to make some really beautiful boards and everything not a ton of color in these but uh they still look really good though these will make some really easy boards again kind of a plain jane on the maple but you know what takes all types these boards here once finished up the ones that i make out of this I might sell these for around like 30 or so dollars a piece, whereas a more figured piece of maple might be in the 50 to 60 dollar range. So again, this helps to make sure I have something for everyone. Um, you know, not everybody wants to spend a ton of money on a figure board or a cutting board or whatever. Sometimes uh, 
you know, budget that's planned to it. And I, I like to work with people to try to offer a lot of different variety in the wood that I have to offer. So, yeah, these right here, can't really smell anything because everything's so cold. Can't really smell my nose right now, but <laughs> it's uh, 23 degrees and awesome. So hopefully that wasn't too slow. But it, I did start off very slow there. Also, this is the first time I'm cutting with uh, gloves on, on the sawmill. So some of my movements there were quite jerky. Let me go ahead and get these off. And then we'll uh, take them over here into the sunlight so you can see them a little bit better. All right, folks. There you have it. So these are about six and a half foot tall each. And there is a little bit of color in there, but not really. This is a pretty a plain Jane maple. There, there are a few figured sections there and there around the knots um but i was just thinking to myself okay excluding this one over here which is a one inch board that'll be turned into spoons and spatulas that can go with a match set and if you look at all the boards here if i can get six out of each one and then there's five boards that i can get stuff out of so six times five is 30 and if i sell them at around 30 dollars a piece that's around 900 dollars with a charcuterie boards there. Now that's that could be on the high end. I don't know. I have to look and see what the actual boards turn out to be. But if I if I get six boards out of each one and then throw in a couple spatulas and stuff like that, it's not too shabby out of one tree that took me about eleven minutes to cut up. Actually a little shorter than that, but I was cutting slow. Yeah. The kids are having a blast out there. It is chilly with that wind, let me tell you. Very, very chilly. And the machine was kind of slow to uh, warm up on the hydraulics. So it was cutting slow there in the beginning, but that's all right. As you see, I did use diesel. So I don't have a whole lot of sawdust that sticks to this. But anything that did stick to this is uh, starting to freeze. <laughs> but I don't think the log was frozen, but it is definitely a cold log. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little short video. I haven't posted a video in a little while because we did some sea trials on a ship and I was very proud of my team. They did phenomenally well. The ship performed outstanding. You know, just very proud of my whole team on that. And yeah, I had to get these, this quick little video out there. So I'll get this video hopefully posted this weekend. This is the weekend before Thanksgiving. And then next week, we're going to do some really cool stuff. Uh, we're going to get a lot of this oak cut up here. And we're going to see if we can get some more structure in the backside of this. And we'll probably even go cut some trees off of Buddy's property mine. I'm not sure. As you can see, I still have more to work on this wall here. It is <laughs> expanding out as best it can. I'm very happy with how my roof is doing. Uh, if you haven't seen recently, I don't think I posted a video on this. I did get uh, the metal up on this portion here. Went down to Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Got some more metal. I just got to come back, trim up my ends here. And it's a good storage area. And as you can see, no snow got in where the sawmill's at, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to do. It's doing well there. And also, today was the opening day of rifle season. I did go out and froze my butt off on the stand for about three hours this morning. But it was fun. Had a good time. Didn't see any deer. Heard a lot of shooting. So, we'll see. Alright, stay tuned. A lot more to come. And then we also have some new blades that we're going to be testing. This right here is actually a Timber King blade that I sharpened and also had to do some more testing with Timber King blades too because trying to develop a uh, database of saw blade data. So we've tested the blades from Kinsaw or Kinsaw blades. We've got SE Metals, Southeast Metals. They sent us some blades to test. We're just in Timber King. The goal is we're going to go ahead and do all the testing of these blades, figure out kind of how they all perform. I think they're going to perform pretty much comparable between all of them. Then we're going to look at pricing and shipping and customer service, stuff like that. So stay tuned. We'll see you around. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you. Thanks.